The Corsair Hydro X Series XD3 RGB Pump Reservoir Combo features a high-performance DDC PWM pump, integrated RGB lighting, as well as an in-loop temperature sensor to drive even the most compact custom cooling systems. The XD3 RGB Pump Res Combo includes all the mounting hardware necessary, including a plug tool, ATX 24-pin PSU jumper, a G1 quarter inch temperature sensor plug, and some Corsair G1 quarter inch plugs. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, a Corsair IQ Commander Pro, Corsair XL5 coolant, and a filling flask. There are a variety of mounting configurations available to you, depending on your system layout. You can use the included 120mm or 140mm adapter plates to mount the XD3 directly to a fan, radiator, or your chassis. And the included perpendicular mounting bracket can be used to change the orientation of the XD3 RGB if necessary. Once you've decided on the mounting configuration you'd like to go with, it's now time to pick the inlet and the outlet for your loop. Looking directly at the XD3 RGB, the G1 quarter inch ports on the left must be used as outlets, and the G1 quarter inch ports on the right may be used as inlet ports. The top port will serve as a fill port, and the bottom port is where we recommend you install the temperature sensor. Once you've decided on your flow configuration, we should now take a look at connecting power and lighting. The XD3 RGB uses a single Molex connector to power the pump directly off of your power supply. The four-pin fan connector serves as a tachometer that will report and control pump speed. If you're using the XD3 RGB with the Commander Pro, we recommend connecting this to port number six. Connect the male 3-pin RGB connector to an available lighting port on your Commander Pro. Next, connect the 2-pin temperature probe connector to temp port number 1. If you have any other HydroX components, you can daisy-chain them to the XD3 RGB using the female 3-pin RGB connector. Once you've assembled your loop, you'll need to fill and prime your XD3 RGB until the loop is full. To do this, disconnect all the power cables from your system components except for the XD3 RGB's Molex power connector. Turn off the power supply and connect the included 24-pin PSU jumper bridge. Fill the XD3 RGB's reservoir through the top fill port, leaving approximately half a centimeter from the top of the reservoir. Turn on your power supply by flipping the on switch. Your XD3 will power on and coolant should start flowing through your loop. Make sure to turn off your power supply before the reservoir is empty. The XD3 RGB has a fairly small reservoir, so the filling and priming process may need to be repeated multiple times until the loop is full. Let the loop run for about 24 hours to remove any trapped air and leak test the system. Once you're satisfied that the system won't leak, you can reconnect your power supply to your other components and start your system normally. Just like other HydroX components, the XD3 Pump Reservoir Combo features RGB lighting and a HydroX Pump Performance preset. In the Lighting Setup tab for the Commander Pro, we'll make sure that the XD3 is part of the chain of HydroX devices in our loop. Once our lighting setup is complete, we can apply a variety of different custom lighting effects. In the Performance tab for the Commander Pro, we'll assign the HydroX Pump preset to our XD3 RGB connected to port 6. This preset requires the temperature probe that we installed earlier, and will adjust the pump speed based on coolant temperature. And while we're at it, we'll also make sure to assign the HydroX fan preset to the fans in our system. And that's it! The compact XD3 RGB Pump Res Combo makes it easier than ever to build your own HydroX loop in more compact spaces. For more information about the XD3 RGB, or our other HydroX series custom cooling components, Go check them out at Corsair.com. Thanks for watching.